How to use Zapier with Google Sheets Hi there, today we will be learning about how to use Zapier and connect it with your Google Sheets account. So first thing that you need to do is go to zapier.com and just click on sign up or create account. And then you can just use your email or your Google account for this. Once you have created your Zap account, this is what it would look like. This is the homepage or the dashboard. This is where you will be creating or making a Zap to connect your Google Sheets. So first thing that you will need to do is that you need to have a Google Form file here like this one that I have on the right side of the screen. You can do either a contact information or a lead information depending on what you'd like. And once you have that information, what you need to do is to create a Google Sheet on your same account. So here, this is where all of the responses from your Google Forms, this is where it will go once there will be responses. So it will automatically be added into your Google Sheets for every responses that you will be receiving. So here, you just need to make sure that for each columns, it will have each categories as well or each information that you are being asked or that you are asking here under the Google form. So by the time you'll connect it, each information will automatically be added into the correct column. So here, so you need to input a column for name, another column for email, another column for address, another column for phone number, and another column for the comments, since that is one of the informations that they will fill out as well. What you can do here as well is you can send the Google form that you created here and send it to an email that you have or if you do have a, another contact that you can send the email to so that you'll have an example. So as you can see here on your G Drive, your Google Sheets and your Google form that you created has now been added or it's also automatically been added here into the account. So what we'll do here is that we'll need to go back to Zapier and what we will begin with is to click on create Zap that's on the upper left corner of the screen here, the orange button. When you click on create Zap, you'll be redirected to another page here where you need to create your first trigger, which would be our Google Forms. You just need to type in on the search box, Google Forms, and click on it. When you click on it, you will need to input an event. So it's either a new form response or new or updated response. So what you need to do is click on new forms response and then click on continue. For this, you'll need to sign in into your Google account. Make sure it would be the same email or account that where the Google Forms were submitted or created. So you just click on allow and it will automatically be connected. And then you just need to click on continue. And then from here, you'll need to choose the form that you created earlier. Once everything is correct, it will also be shown here. So what we'll do is contact information. That was the file name of the form that we created. We just need to refresh the trigger and then just click on continue. And then here we will be testing whether there are a few informations or forms that is on your Google form. So just click on trigger and there. Once that is successful, you will receive a message that we have found a form response and then it will provide details as well on who the response was from or from whom the sample response was. So when you click on next, you will be going doing the second action here where what you need to do is to connect your Zapier to Google Sheets. So you just need to search for Google Sheets and then choose another event. What you'll choose here is create spreadsheet row and then just click on continue and the same thing earlier you just need to sign in as well to the um, Google account where the Google Sheets was saved. 
then just hit on allow read the details and then you can just allow these to go through and then the next thing that you will do is to click on continue and then here you'll be able to look into the drive so you will choose my google drive and then look for the spreadsheet that we created just click on contact information and then it will ask for the worksheet that would be one sheet only so just click on the sheet here since we only have only a single sheet on that spreadsheet that we created so once done what you can do is just fill out all these informations here for us to create the trigger or for us to do a sample test later on so here it needs the name data so we will click on name for sample Look for the information being asked here and then just click on name. And then here, look for address. And then phone number. And then the comments as well. From the test created earlier, these are the samples and then just click on continue and there you'll be able to see that it was successful and what you can do is just click on test action and then wait for it to fully load up. And then once fully loaded, what you can do is just click on publish and the zap that we created will now be added into your account wherein any responses received from the Google form that we created named contact information will be added into our Google Sheets data, like this one, for example. After the test that we did earlier with Google Forms, as you can see, the information from the sample test automatically is added to each column or each corresponding column here on the Zapier account that we created from the Google Forms. Here, so it's currently publishing. And then you have the option whether you can add or transfer existing data or you can just simply go to your Zap. Where when you click on transfer existing data, any um, responses before the zap was created will be added here into your account. And there you have it. As you can see, there is one response that you can see here from the Google phone that I have. There is an information about the last submitted time, the created time, the phone numbers, name, ID, and a lot more. So what we can do here is that we will try to add or we will try to create a sample. So I will be asking a few um, respondents to answer the Google form that I created so that our Google Sheets will be filled out later on. Here is an example of the Google Sheets with another response from a friend here. So I actually have two respondents already here on Google Forms. Uh, you can check here when you click on your Google Forms on your G Drive and then here on the middle option, just click on responses and you can see there are two responses that I have. And the second one was the latest one and this is the only one that will be updated in my Google Sheets. So as you can see, here on my Google Sheets, the response that I received was added. And that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Bye.